And he's hoping that she'll feel good enough that he, he wants to bring her with him. Because when they come, uh, not this coming week, but the next week, it's his 74th birthday. Uh, and no, 75th. He's just a few months older than me. Uh, he, it's 75th birthday, and it's their 54th wedding anniversary. So he's a year older than me, six months, and six months, they've been married longer than Linda and I. Should we do something more? We've got a girl here, Paul. Yeah. Do what? Uh, not that, but something like that. I said, should we do something for them while they're here? Uh, we will. We'll play golf. <laughs> 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 Wrong answer. No, that, that is a, that's a great Yes, we should. Yeah, yeah we, we, we should do something for their anniversary. That'd be a, that'd be a great idea. Dino should bake a cake. Yeah. It was? Yeah, I think Dino should bake a cake. <laughs> yeah, Dino make a cake. That's a good idea. <laughs> no, let's, uh, ladies, get your minds together. Let's think about what we can do. That's a special occasion for them. I um, think we, the piano player's daughters have got a professional cake making daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I'll, I'll have to see if she's booked. Oh. She takes pre. I'll ask her that. We'll take care of it. We'll get it. No, no. We need to keep Ernie. Absolutely. Still has to bounce back from all that stuff. And we keep Bill Martin in our prayer. Amen. Bill's doing better. But we need him up a little bit, a little, a little further. Yeah. Uh, I did get to speak with Ernie this week. And, uh, he is doing a, a lot better, but he's he can't do it without oxygen. So he he needs to be able to be off that oxygen tank. I mean, my mom, Liz, you know, she does good, but she only does good with the oxygen. So uh, the COVID really, really did a number on him. Uh, Margaret came out of it a whole lot better than, than Ernie did. She didn't have the issues with diabetes that, that Ernie had. So let's remember them in, in our prayers, please. And he's going to school. Vacation Bible School starts tomorrow. I'm glad you said that. So we're going to have a meeting at 7 o'clock tonight for, for the teachers and those that are working in Vacation Bible School. We want to get our heads together. Get organized, make sure we know exactly what everyone is supposed to do. So if you're involved, please be here tonight at uh, 7 o'clock uh, for just a brief. We won't be here that long. We just want to get organized and, and make sure everybody knows what they're doing, including me, mainly me. Uh, so if you would, please uh, just be tonight here for, for short. We're not going to have services tonight. Uh, we worked Friday night and had a parade yesterday trying to get ready for Vacation Bible School. And we'll meet tonight to do more preparation for Vacation Bible School. So please be much in prayer that God will use this Vacation Bible School. If we could just see one precious soul. Amen. This one precious soul is worth it all. Amen. Uh, <clears throat> I want to thank everyone that came and, and helped Friday night and came Saturday. Uh, to the parade and those that brought the old cars and drove. Thank you so much. And uh, did we get any response at all yesterday morning? We did. We yeah. After we left here, some of us went up and went to Atkins Road and got out and visited. And then we went to Weingold's Dollar Store, CVS, and the IGA and stood and handed out flyers and candy and stuff to the kids. Good. So we did get several yesterday saying that they would try to come or and a lot of kids that wanted to come so <laughs> well uh, we were here Friday night but yesterday Diane and I were playing we worked all day so uh, it, it's been a, a long couple months uh, at work but anyway thank everyone for coming for, for doing everything that you do I love your hearts and uh, that's what makes this church special Okay, any other spoken requests? Randy said Jerry did a cover yesterday. And uh, <coughs> Carolyn can give you more information about shuttles. Uh, 
he said, go ahead, Karen, fill them in on. But I think that was things when she went back to the oncologist that she said to call Jerry and talk to him because she can't remember all the details they told her. And of course, you knew that because you talked to Jerry and that she said to you and John. So, anyway, uh, just pray for him for strength and of course for her also. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, Jerry Benedict, our former pastor. Clear Springs, who's now pastoring another church, uh, his wife Shirley, sweet, sweet lady, uh, getting dementia. And, uh, of course, she just, still has the leukemia, but it's the slow type. You know? Yeah. Let's please remember them in our prayers. Yes, Jerry. Uh, Elizabeth. And I, she's having issues now with sinus infections, and she's going to the doctor again tomorrow. Okay. I should remember her. That's our sister Liz. Uh, she hasn't got to come uh, since COVID. She did get to come back for a couple of times. Uh, now the sinus problems are giving her a fit until the doctor's phone tomorrow. So let's remember her in prayer. Anyone else? Larry, would you lead us in prayer this morning? Heavenly Father, as we come to you today, we thank you for the privilege we have of meeting with our brothers and sisters in Christ. Father, we've shared many, many prayer requests today. You know them, them all. You know each and every need that they have. We put all our brothers and sisters in Christ in your hands and trust that you, as their creator, as their Lord and Savior, as a great physician, would meet their needs. And Father, we pray this week that you'll be with our vacation Bible school. I don't know why they call it vacation, because it's, it's work. And we just pray that our labors will, will be multiplied, or that we can have people come in that need to know the Lord, and that we can share the Lord Jesus with them, and that they can respond and that knowledge that Jesus is their Lord and Savior. We ask your good brother A.C. as he brings us your message today, uh, help us to open up our hearts and minds and be receptive, and take what he says, uh, what you're saying through him, that we can take it to heart and make changes in our lives where they need to be made. And Father, again, we just praise you for who you are. We thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, and the many blessings that we receive each and every day. We get so many blessings that we, we just take them for granted and pray that you'll point them out to us and help us to remember and be aware when the blessings are coming that we can acknowledge Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Again, we ask that you'll be with the many prayer requests that have been mentioned. We thank you for the many answered prayers and ask that you would continue to be here today and bless our, our service. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come on, John, lead us to
29.
Dear Heavenly Father, today we thank you so much, Lord, for loving us. Thank you for suffering and dying on that cross for our sins. I thank you so much for saving me, Father. Lord, today I just pray that you would be with our services today. Help Ace as he brings our message, Lord. Give him the words that you want us to hear. I pray, Lord, that you would prepare our hearts that we might take these words into our hearts, Lord, to draw closer to you. Lord, we pray that you would bless these tithes and offerings. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 